Hey everyone, welcome back. Mark here. I was thinking about that last piece, how I was able to darken everything up by adding a smoke layer in with that second spin. Got me wondering whether or not I'd be able to smoke bare metal with a flood coat. Let's see how it turns out. Starting off this video with a quick glimpse on how I achieved my center mark. After everything is laid out, I'll use the center punch to assure that I'll never lose my center mark. Same thing as before, using my grinder just to throw a bunch of swirl marks in there. Creates an awesome look. My resin has no trouble bonding to this technique. After a quick cleaning, Run resin. Now I know this looks dark, but this is one heavy drop of Lumalite Black in my clear resin. Quick pass with a heat gun to get any surface bubbles, and then we'll allow it to level itself to smoke perfection. Resin is cured. The ever so important scuffing and cleaning of the surface has been done. Starting off with the dollop of resin, and I have three route cam paints that I'll be using here. First one's gonna be a key lime green, but with all this light, it looks a lot more yellow. Using a purple and a mirror paint, which is basically just silver paint with a lot of fine flake in it. And then I'll be using just straight clear resin to push everything out. As you can see, I will jump back and forth between colors, only putting a small amount each time. Sometimes I'll put just one, other times I'll put a few. And then using the clear resin to push everything out. This method forces the individual colors to dance and swirl around one another as they make their way out. My metal plate has slipped ever so slightly on the magnetic wheel. The arrowhead shape that you see in the center is an indication that I need to be careful. I can compensate for the plate being off-centered a little by adjusting my pour, but when you're holding on to a spinning metal disc with a magnet, oh, that was a close one right there, but I lost the cup. Once it's off-centered, it's like a snowball effect and it only gets worse from there. It's at this point, I know my time is limited, but I still need to keep trying to push my paint to the edges. I wanted to play it safe and stop right there. And at this point I was kind of thinking that I was done. I had something that I liked. So I decided to go ahead and scuff it, clean it, do a fluff coat on there.
This might be where you expect me to talk about how happy I am with this piece and that it turned out so great, but I'm not there yet. I don't like the center of it. I've tried to convince myself that I don't need to do anything with the center of it, but the fact is, I don't like the center, so I'm going to do something with it. I've already done a fine flood coat, which has its plus and minuses to it. It will add a neat look to it. Everything that I put on here is going to take a different path, be completely separate of what's already there. It'll add some nice shadows because there's more of a gap between the, uh, the top of the resin and the steel plate down below. The minus is, I've done a final flood coat on this thing. My table's pretty level, but if it's not perfect and that resin has migrated to one side, well, that means that it's going to be out of balance. And then paint and resin is going to be favoring one side over everything else. That could ruin everything or a lot of cleaning. And then also could cut me in two. So there's that. Either way, I'm gonna give it a try. Let's make it happen. Back in the sling ring for round two. We've been scuffed and cleaned. Now we're ready to throw some color on it. Got all the same colors as we had before, but this time I'm adding a metallic charcoal gray. Also second cup of resin that is gonna have pearl in it. I'm basically repeating what I did the first time around, but this time I don't have to try so hard to push paint and resin all the way to the edges. Above all else, in the end, I want a wicked center. That's more of my style. So let's do our final flood again. Well, what do you think? I'm thrilled about how this piece turned out. I usually have a hard time thinking of names for pieces, but I had the name Smoked Funk pop into my head. So what the heck, we'll run with that. My base resin was tinted just right to give a great smoke effect over that bare metal. On top of that, I'm enjoying seeing the color combination, which is, it's one of the hardest things for me to decide. Sometimes I wish I could just trust fate to reach blindly on my paint shelf and stick with whatever I grab. Maybe one day. Second spin looks fantastic on top of that first with the bare metal base still visible through all the chaos in the center, which has the silver and green exploding out from it making their way to join 
the purple and gray. Looking a little closer, you can see how the separate colors are pushed out, going around, over, and even unite here and there to make for some interesting runs. This concludes my episode for Smoked Funk. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to comment or suggest color combinations. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Take care. See you soon.